might jump in the shower, take a warm mm. shower. Not so much for the warmth, but as for the feeling of the water mm. going down my body. Mm. I mean, that, that, uh, that usually does him. it. <laughs> <laughs> that usually does it for me. I wanted to talk a little bit today about what we do when we want to get in the mood when we might not be feeling in the mood because I know sometimes it can be hard when you're together a lot or you're tired from work and taking care of your family and all of that. Or you've got, you know, the day-to-day concerns and worries that you're yeah mulling yeah. over in your head. I know what you're going to say that I do to get in the mood. Okay, so go ahead. What am I going to say? No, come on. <laughs> I know, you always know about this now. She needs to be warm. Yeah. That's the one thing I've learned, she needs to be warm. Right. If she's not warm, you could do anything you want, she's not going to be in the mood. <laughs> so you sometimes will turn a space heater on. That's a, that's a cue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean if I, it's at the evening and we're not doing anything else, and I come in the bedroom, turn a space yes, heater on? Yes, yeah, yeah. You have bought me great gifts. Wow. These uh, long thigh high, over the thigh Warm, sexy socks. Sex socks. Yes. Sex socks. So. And those are really sexy too, those sex socks. Uh-huh. I mean, from a guy's perspective, they're great. They're wonderful. And if she's warmer and happier for it, I highly recommend them. Well, it's great to hear from you because I've heard women say their feet are cold. They can't get into it because their feet are cold. And their guy's going, oh, come on, just ignore it. Or don't wear your socks to bed. It's not sexy. And you're like, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, if they're white tube socks, you probably don't want to wear them to bed. But uh, better you know, maybe than you not, do. That's better true. than cold feet to me. <laughs> if you're going to feel in the mood, wear whatever you want. Is there anything in particular you do for yourself? Sometimes I'll have a little fantasy, you know, like the one the other night. And uh, and I was tired. We had, I don't know, it was late. And, and so it was taking a little bit to, to get me going. And so we were, we were in the in the bedroom. It was dark out. And I, I we've got a little deck outside. And I just had this little idea that somebody was standing out there watching looking in and uh and that was a little bit exciting so that worked for me the other wow. night so uh, i didn't even know about this person out there well i didn't you know want to take the mood away for you in case it wasn't the same for you uh-huh. so uh-huh. no i was gonna tell you well, so that's interesting <laughs> wow we do both share fantasies all the time with each other yeah tell yeah. each other a little piece of a story or a snippet of an idea and then that's a little bit different because that sort of evolves. Somebody will start with something, the other person will add on, yes. and it goes back and forth. So we create it together. Mm-hmm. In this case, I thought it might have been a little bit too much. Hey, there's a guy standing outside our window looking in. And you'd be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Give me my clothes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I thought it best just to keep that to myself. Yeah, especially yeah. if I'm doing one of the things that I love to do that gets me in the mood, which is to dance for you. Yeah, that actually works for both of us uh-huh. because I like it when you dance for me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, especially when you can really stop feeling self-conscious. Once you let that go, it's really sexy when you move to the music. And uh, and we're always playing our list of groove music, so like 300 sexy songs. Yeah, that's helpful. Yeah, that, that does help. I've learned another thing that... Uh, Turn on the playlist. Music helps, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Something about that dancing. When we first started doing that, I was very, very self-conscious and very uncomfortable feeling... I guess very self judgy about what I look like and whether I'm a good dancer or not. And you've always been accepting and interested and positive about anything that I do. Well, yeah, I'm getting a, you know, private show for one. That's pretty sexy in and of itself. When I do get to that point of really letting go of some conscious self consciousness, I think that's what makes me feel really tuned in and in the mood right there. I think so too. When you can go into your own body and, and, let go of thought, Mm -hmm. that's when things change for you. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely sexier than when I can tell you're thinking about the next move. And then massage. I know massage works for you. And and we're talking deep tissue massage sometimes Mm -hmm. to really uh, open things up. And that that really gets you going. To work out some pain. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, once you can let some of that pain go, you can make some space for some pleasure. (laughs) So tell us, what do you do to get in the mood? 